But uh, here's something interesting. Yes. Chris Evans uh, says he's going to say goodbye to Captain America after Avengers 4. You want to get off the train before they push, is what he Ooh. said. Is he referring to his role in Snowpiercer? It's Snow a metaphor, yes. Yeah, for sure, Correct. yeah. I thought this would be a good opportunity, though, to talk about uh, who, who could continue the role after he's gone. We've talked right. about this before. Uh-huh. In, in the comic books, it's been given to the Falcon. Yes. I think it is 100% going to Bucky. Yeah? What do you yeah. think that? He's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, I feel like Falcon's still kind of got his own thing going on. Yeah. While Bucky's story of being who he is is kind of, it's not winding down, but it needs to kind of shift yeah, I in, think so, in yeah. some direction. Uh-huh. And we're going to get a non-brainwashed Bucky in, yes. in, the, in, in Infinity War, but I think you might yeah. be right. And I think that doesn't necessarily mean that then it goes to Anthony Mackie and then and then whatever. Yeah, right. I've got some details, though, in terms of who's got what left. Yeah, right. What, how many films left. Yeah. I, I think at this point also, given that Infinity War is so close. Yeah. Any of these things, I think, are often a, a, can be a spoiler. Yeah, right. So if okay. you don't want to know anything about anything more about Infinity War, maybe don't listen to this bit. Okay. Because if we're like, this person has zero movies left, yeah, then they potentially could die. Who but that knows? being said, like everybody knows that Robert Downey Jr. is wrapping up, yeah. but he's done extra stuff. That's like true. he's come back for he, he got paid fifty million for Homecoming and or whatever he did. Yeah. Maybe it wasn't that. And, but it was a lot. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, Anthony Mackie says he's got like 50. I think they also signed these guys on for longer, so for a bit of wiggle room. So yeah, So like, right. well, who who do the audiences respond to and whatever? Yeah, for sure. Sebastian Stan. Yes. Uh, he's, he did a nine film contract. Yep. Uh, he's done three already. Uh-huh. There'll be five if he, with the two Avengers films. Spoiler alert for Black Panther. If they count that, that his cameo at the end, that'll be six. But I don't think that yeah, would right. count uh-huh. because Chris Evans is in... Thor the Dark World, but I don't think that counted towards his... Yeah, he's his also cameo. in Homecoming. Well, he's too. Yeah. There you go. So mm-hmm. I'd be surprised if they if they count, but yeah, right. who bloody knows. Mm-hmm. I thought uh, another option, which they're looking at in the comics, is Hayley Atwell. Yeah, okay, America. right. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. I really like that actress. Agent Carter's done. So yes. bring her to the future of whatever uh-huh. and do it like that. I don't think they'll do that. What about... I, I, got, some, I got some left of center ones here. Okay. You ready for this? Yeah. What about Emily Van Camp? Sharon Carter. Oh, so the the other Carter. Yeah. I don't like it. No, <laughs> and also right. she's been in. What was she? And she was in Winter Soldier and Civil War. Yeah. And I don't think they've got any chemistry. It was it was weird, right? Yeah, right. When they got and together. also she's related to she's his related. his lost love. Yeah, so that's it's weird. Strange. I mean, it's weird in the comics, but it's weirder seeing it in real life. Yeah. I mean, fictional. You know what I mean. <laughs> right, right. You know right. what I mean. Uh huh. How about this one? Yes. You ready for this? No. John Favreau. You do it a comedy. You make it a happy. You make oh, a happy nice. Hogan Captain happy America. Happy America. Yeah. Nice. What do you think of that? Yes. <laughs> They'd never do it. Swingers made. <laughs> He's in a food truck. Exactly. Going around America. <laughs> He's cooking something up in the shield like it's a, a brisket. Wok. <laughs> He's cooking up a brisket in the back of the shield. They won't do it, but no. I think that would be. I think that could work. Yeah, for sure. Or he has to like road trip mm. Captain America's shield across the country or something. Nice. And he's getting into scrapes. Well, he's That'd always he's always shipping shield tech, isn't exactly, he? Exactly. Yeah. So maybe the the Quinjet breaks down. And he has to hitchhike. He has to hoof it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. He meets all the weird characters along the way. Exactly. He meets that guy who's a weird space trucker. <laughs> yeah. He meets all the weird characters they don't know what to do with, but they own. So he, they got to use them at some point. I love it. You yeah. can either call it Happy America yeah. or Happy's America. Yeah. Because he's he's seeing all of America's. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm a genius. No, it's very good. This one is actually a real one. You do a fill in Captain America in the uh-huh. 40s and 50s. So the real Captain America disappears. Yeah, right. Like they did in the comics. Uh-huh. And they get a guy yes. to be like, "You're the, we need a Captain America. So yeah, you're yeah. Captain America. Exactly. Yeah. That, that would work. Mm. So in the so for anybody who doesn't know, in the they you know Captain America was invented for World War II. Mm. And then they continued to use the character throughout, I guess, the late 40s and 50s. Yeah. And then when they brought him back in the 60s, they, they were like, okay, well, we'll retcon this. We'll say the character in the 40s and the 50s was a different guy yeah. who thought he was Captain America, and now he's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Who do and they I, get, though? Who do you get? Well, I, I, I thought before Winter Soldier that there was a chance that Robert Redford was like the 1970s Captain America. Yeah, that would be fun. But he's a Hydra man, so that wouldn't yeah, that's, work that wouldn't necessarily. Work, yeah. But no, I think, was, again, we always talk about what happened in between. Could work, though, mm. because we've had a recent storyline in the Marvel comics where Captain America worked for Hydra all along. Yeah. So what if you make the one in the 50s yeah. or the 70s, it's Robert Redford and he's Captain America and he's working for Hydra. That's great. 
It's too complicated, but throw it in there. Why not? <laughs> I would love to see like Cap Hydra modern day with Chris Evans. Yeah, right. To, like rest him for five years or whatever. Uh-huh. Bring him back. Say yeah. he's killed in Infinity War. Bring him back, but he's evil. Exactly. Like Red the, Skull brings the, him back. It's but, the, the cube yeah. messed with his brain or whatever. They should absolutely do that. Yeah. So these are all great ideas. There's not that a bad said, one among That being said, that is quite a lot like the Winter Soldier yes. being evil. So. But that, I, I think that's an interesting arc as well. Okay. Because right. it's everyone's like, yay, Captain America, America's back. Oh, no, he's the worst <laughs> now, you know? There's some free dialogue for you, Marvel. <laughs> oh, no, he's the worst now. You give that to Happy Hogan. Yeah. yeah. Happy's oh, Hoagies. Right. <laughs> that's the name of the truck that he's trucking across America. Mm, yum, Very yum, yum. good. Hey, this is actually from a larger podcast called The Weekly Planet Podcast. It's so large! It's, well, it's smaller because it's an audio file, mm-hmm. but it's larger in terms of scope and concept. Yes, and joy. Mm. Oh, come on. Okay. Anyway, it's linked below. <laughs> it ebbs and flows. It ebbs and flows. Great. Yeah. Okay, bye. <laughs>